Our next caller is Brian from New Hampshire. What's up, Brian? How can we help you? Hey, how's it going, guys? First of all, just want to say thanks for all the content you put out. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, just nice to get that unbiased viewpoint and just you guys are willing to change your minds about anything. That's great. Um, so I think I know some people do a little bit of background. I think that would help um, with my question, help you guys answer it. So um, I retired from pro hockey about a year and a half ago in March 2020. And uh, I've always been into like mobility. I do like the Kelly Starrett stuff. Um, nice. Pavel Satsaline, um, just for like injury prevention my whole career. Um, been weightlifting since I was 10. Um, I've been training for hypertrophy for the last like four months just to kind of get a new fitness goal as opposed to like always doing performance stuff um, my whole life. Um, so recently I got uh, the job I work at now. Um, it's this company we make stretch suits called State Liberty. Um, but I'm trying to film a promo video where I'm doing a side split wearing one of the suits. Hmm. <laughs> I was wondering if like you guys think that those are conflicting goals. Like if I'm if I'm squatting twice a week, is that gonna like hinder my progress if I'm trying to do side splits? No, it's not. It, there's a common misconception that strength training reduces uh, flexibility. Hmm. It actually improves uh, functional flexibility. Now the key is to practice your splits. Mm -hmm. So you're just trying to get into the splits. So static stretching is gonna get you there. Um, yeah. the fastest and daily practice of the static stretching, but no, it's not going to hinder or prevent you from, uh, being able to do mm. now, uh, any type of strip. What split. do you guys think though, about him doing some, uh, specific exercises like a uh, caustic squats? Like how, I think somebody who is working towards doing like the splits, I think that would be a, a, I, and let's say he's squatting twice a week or whatever. I would actually pull like a, a traditional back squat out one day and then mm. do something like caustic squats in there and really, uh, try and stretch your capacity on the range of motion and flexibility in that movement. So you try to connect and and, and create opportunities for strength out of that position. Yeah. yeah. I think that would be smart. Or even isometrically trying to get a bit lower with that and, and really connect. So it's not just passive flexibility you're after. You can, you know, gain some kind of active control over it. But yeah, I mean, it's, again, if, you, if, if that's your pursuit, it, it's not going to be a confliction as long as you know you're still trying to connect and make it a, a strength. And then also, what do you guys think about uh, him starting and ending the workout with that? Right. So if my goal is to get to this this uh, you know s splits, I do my priming and mobility work and warm up to try and you know get to that place as far as close as I can. I do my strength training routine, and then even at the end of the routine, I do it again. I I work on that again. And yeah. No. I would I would do lots of static stretching at the end of the workout. I mean, if you're okay. Mm -hmm. So when you do this when you're doing this, this, whatever this photo, this performance, you're just going to sit in the side splits, right? Yeah. Yeah. So static stretching is going to get you there the fastest. Um, cause okay. you don't need to be able to move or get out of it very quickly. You're just, but I also to want to like combine it with being able to being like strong in that range of motion. Okay. So I don't want to just sit like I could probably do that today if I sat in a stretch, you know, for uh, like well, then what Adam said is ideal. I mean, then, then practice things like Cossack squats and side okay, lunges yeah, and yeah, stuff like that to kind of work on that. And then when you do the static stretches and your side splits, when you get into that position, activate your inner thigh and outer thigh muscles. I mean, really, if you just turn them on when you're in that position, that'll help yeah. you connect with that, that really wide range of motion. Out of curiosity, were you a goalie? No, I wasn't. Okay. I was just, uh, I was a center. Yeah. Okay. Only reason why I'm asking is I know goalies have like tremendous flexibility in, yeah. in hockey. Yeah, so yeah, so what's this in your question about having a flat ass? We have to uh, address this. Uh, no, it was a girlfriend uh, kind of like six months after I retired, kind of made a comment about it. And I was like, <laughs> Uh, it just kind of hit home. I was like, oh, I was back in the squat rack the next day. <laughs> <laughs> that one cuts deep. Yeah, I that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, do that. And you know what? Do you have uh, Maps Prime Pro, Brian? I do not, no. Okay, there's great stuff in Maps Prime Pro that'll help you develop more connection to greater ranges of motion. So we'll send that over to you. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I really appreciate it. No problem, man. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, thanks for having me on, guys. His girlfriend's mean, huh? <laughs> <laughs> My girl will tell me too if I'm mean. Like, so I don't I, you want like honest feedback? Yeah, I yeah. But do you say that to you? Would you ever say that to your girl? Like, oh, you lost your ass. Um, yeah, we're I pretty. Mean, we're pretty. You brutal. would? Oh yeah, no. Katrina uh, okay. and I are. I, pretty I wouldn't say it like honest. directly like that, but I would definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hint right. At it, right? I, I don't know if I'd be like, "Hey, honey, you're losing your ass." Depends I, on the relationship. Was, right? yeah, yeah, no. She's. I mean, one of the things I love about her is that she uh, she loves that about me is that I just I have no filter and have a really hard Gotta time keep it real. Yeah, bullshitting. So if she asked me, I'm going to tell her the answer. 
Um, you know, our buddy uh, Jordan Syatt is uh, working on this right now. Have you guys? I don't know how quick, how often you guys click over on and, glute gains. No, on splits. Oh, oh, splits. Yeah, he's on. I don't, and I, I, I should probably look more into exactly uh, what the reason behind it or whatever. But I saw him post maybe I don't know. I want to say three weeks ago or so that, he, and he showed a video of like how far he could get right now, which uh, was yeah. terrible. And then he's showing his progress. So maybe also check into that, you know. So I don't know, mm. uh, you know, George, if you are, or this is who's who's what's the I name? Feel of like one of us needs to do it. Brian, I think it's, Brian. it's Brian. Adam. So Brian, why don't you check out our, our buddy Jordan Syatt. I think it's Syatt Fitness is what his yeah. uh, his his handle is, and, and and Jordan's a pretty smart trainer himself, and I think he's actually working on that. So maybe follow yeah. along his journey. Yeah, too. the splits were cool for a second. Then remember Van Dam? He would like bust them out. <laughs> I never got that. Like, like that's his flex, you know. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, I could go on a countertop like this. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, but how hard do you kick, bro? Well, I think that I think the the flex on that was that he could do that and he was buff, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't well, think I mean, he would. Yeah, he's in good shape and handsome. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, and, the, the, and he, he could also going for and he could also do a three sixty round kick with the. We'd have to get that? a girl's opinion on that. Like, does that do something for you? I don't know. I think anything he did at that time yeah. would have done something Just for him. Yeah. Yep. Check me out.